donc lâche pas. Gilles, tu es le président d'honneur de donner la main dans le soi. Peux-tu dire à nos amis anglais notre travail bénévole pour sauver ce couple et leur bébé Ok, hi guys, uh, I'm Gilles, and behind the camera there is uh, Jean-Marc. We are both involved in a French association which is providing uh, first help for different cases. And in this case, we have got a British couple with a particular situation. You know, they are in one way blocked in France. Um, the, the, the wife came in France, she was pregnant and she gave birth in France. And uh, three days after the birth, uh, the French authorities, the French administration took the baby from the couple. This is a point. And uh, since more one year, they are trying to get a result, a good, a positive result from the French administration. What they, get, what they got for the moment? Only one hour per, per week to visit the baby. First point is not enough. Uh, she was born um, in Lyon, um, outside uh, Ar Arshibs, um on the 29th of May. Uh, so can you tell me your story uh, since, uh, since Italia? Um, well, we moved from the UK to Italy uh, to get a job, uh, to get an apartment and when we got to basically France on the halfway journey I found out that the job was a scam and the apartment. Um, we decided we're still going to go to Italy anyway because we can't change the tickets. Uh, so we got to Italy, um, some of our stuff was stolen. Um, we went to a homeless agency um, and they paid for us to come to France because they couldn't pay for us to go back to the UK. So we had to come to France to make some money, enough money to pay for our train ticket while my partner was pregnant um, but we didn't end up making it so in the end we gave birth on the street outside the Archives Departementals in Lyon. Uh, we stayed there for a little while um, and then we've pretty much been here ever since. Social services took our baby, uh, they didn't give an actual reason why. Uh, so I did, they say that uh, they take the baby for the same reason as the UK and the UK take babies for forced adoption. Forced adoption meaning the parents have never got control of the child. Um, it's not the same as any legal adoption. Uh, these people come from everywhere and anywhere so that social services can sell your child to somebody else. Kind of stressful when she was born. Uh, tried to um, call the ambulance, um, they put the phone down, tried flagging people down but no one was interested and uh, after she was pretty much here people stopped because it was a mess. Um, got to hospital, um, got checked out and everything, uh, stayed there for three days. And then social services came in and took her. Um, they said that she had to have another hearing test. Um, she left and then next minute another social services came in. Um, that's pretty much the story of how Summer was born. To make money, uh, we sit with a sign every day. We don't ask for money, we only ask for donations. And it would be nice for people to respect some of the homeless because many of them do not do alcohol, do not do drugs. Uh, we are just normal, simple people just trying to make our way in life and to fit into different places. Okay, cool. And uh, just where, um, where did you come from in England? Um, well, uh A place called Chesterfield. That's where I was born. <coughs> okay. What could be the solution? Um, Boyd, 
is a chef. He knows about cooking, he knows about working in restaurants. So the first issue should be, for example, getting him a job in UK or why not in the French mountains because I know that there is a lot of uh, uh, British citizens uh, which are holding um, uh, business in France. So why not helping him by finding him a job as a cooker, as a chef? This is a, a crucial point. And in case you have got some contacts in the uh, British administration for helping them, it should be nice for contacting Jean-Marc with the number which is written downstairs and uh, to get the connections together to help them by both sides of the sea. So see you guys and I hope we'll find together a solution for this nice couple because this is a very nice couple. See you guys. Thank Merci you. Gilles. Um, uh, do you feel uh, an help about people, about Finnish people? Well, some, some are very nice. Um, they come by, you know, see the sign, chat to you, ask you if you need anything. Um, yeah, really nice, some really nice people. Mm, your baby, where is he uh, now? Uh, or where is she? Our baby is in um, like a foster home. Um, I think it's just mainly a temporary home for now. Uh, that's about it. We don't know where, we don't know what part of France, we, we don't know anything. It's a girl, a boy? A girl. And how, um, how does she feel her? Um, when we see her, she's happy, she's um, alert, um, just normal stuff that she would normally do, play and, you know, uh, point, um, speak her whatever she needs to speak, but yeah, she's just amazing. Uh, how old is she? Uh, she's 16 months old, her name is Summer. Um, what, are, what do you expect uh, now, for now? Um, we expect the judge uh, and the social workers to understand the situation. I mean, it's not fair that we have our baby taken away and Albanians, uh, Jamaicans, uh, Nigerians, they all get to keep their baby even though they live in a tent. So, to me, it's racism and hopefully we can get past this racism and we can get our baby back and just move on with our life. Uh, your daughter, uh, one hour per week? Yeah, it's uh, one hour per week. Uh, not enough, really, it's just enough to you know, feed her, have a little play, change her, but that's it. Did you have a response about, uh, uh, by, sorry, the Britain authorities? Um, no, we haven't had any response from anybody as of yet. Um, we don't know who's who, we don't know what's what. All we know is uh, Jean-Marc is talking to the embassy. Um, but I believe he's still waiting for either a call or just a response. But what's uh, what big city around uh, Chesterfield? Uh, well, it's a um, small, small town. Um, is there a big city London, near to London? No. Oh, it's. Um no, it's not. It's uh, about six, seven hours away from okay. London.